Hello, this is Javad Hamidi, co-founder of ThoughtBeam. In this video, we are going to learn how to model dooms in Revit. We will discuss three main ways to model dooms in Revit. So, let's go. Uh, I'm going to create them in model in place and roof model in place, but you can do that. Uh, you can do these ways in massings too. So, it's not make any difference between them. Let's go to the 3D view and after that create a component, model in place and let's choose roof uh, because after that you can uh, schedule it in roof schedules. Click on OK and finish. For the start I need three reference line. Click on reference line, draw three one, draw, I want to uh, draw three reference line about 10 meter 10 meter and let's select one of them click on copy and copy uh, copy to another of this reference line because as I said we want to try three main ways to model uh, our domes in Revit the first one and the easiest one is revolve. To do that, you are uh, you should go to the create tab and select uh, the revolve tool. Click on revolve. First of all, create your uh, main uh, create your guidelines. I want uh, to go up about four meter. But before that, let's set our work plans pick up a lane and press tab here to select the elevation uh, reference and you can check the work plan work plan with show tool here okay let's uh, create a line uh, line here mm, to here and from the I want to create a curve from here to here and after that another arc from here to here it depends on your uh, design I'm not going to teach you the design of dooms but uh, you can accept this from me okay uh, we need a shell so we have to offset this profile click on offset uh, choose your value and do that here okay let me put it on maybe 100 and after that we can offset it okay from here uh, close this uh, profile here use TR for trim here and here okay our profile is ready and after that you need the access line you can create access line from here okay let's draw from here to here you can Press Shift to have an auto uh, drawing. Okay, to here. Okay, that's nice. You can finish and have a great doom. Let me put it on shaded mode. You can see a soft edge uh, and curve doom. The next one is for some dooms that are not uh, so, uh, that uh, that are not curved. They are just. Uh, uh, segmental and uh, they are uh, they are they, for example one doom have seven part one doom have eight part let me show you for example you go to the create the next one you should uh, for the next one you should use swim tool to do that go to the sweep tool and set your work plan on level one and okay to do that you need a uh, create a a uh, a sketch pass but not a uh, circle uh, to a polygon for example polygon here it's not uh, make any difference between these two we can uh, choose any one of that any one of them okay let's choose this and maybe eight sides from here from the middle of this line to here okay that's nice this is the pass that I want. Okay, click on finish and let's create our profile. Select profile, edit profile. Let's create a 
guideline here from here to 10 meter not 10 meter here okay and let's create another line from the middle of that four meter above let's trim these two okay these are my guidelines and now i can uh, create my profile but before that it is hard to get the right angle to this profile plane so you can uh, set uh, set it appropriately from here okay click on orient to plane and okay okay this is the best angle to write to draw our uh to draw our profile okay from here i go maybe a little bit up and after that i draw my arc here and the, for the finish i create another arc here okay that's nice for me again we need a shell so we should use uh offset create offset here here and here after that, you can use trim or TR to close this profile. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. And it's finished now. You can just click on finish to see the result. Okay, this is our result and this is good and maybe can answer your needs. But there is a problem. If you want to change the sides and parts of this polygon and this doom you uh you can but it's very difficult you should click on it edit sketch pass it and uh, draw profile again so we need a uh, we need a better way to parametric uh, to make parametric these uh kind of dooms to do that we have a very uh good uh feature in revit to do that you should uh, use sweep again go to the create tab sweep and a sketch pass this time this time we need a circle pass not polygon pass set the plane to the level one and okay okay create a circle pass from here to here and click on okay select profile edit profile and create your profile here okay 10 meter and 4 meter up always create this kind of guide to see the exact uh, height and exact place of your door okay this is good for me and now let's create the main profile you can pick these lines too okay let's create this to this and create another arc to here i don't want i don't want this to be exact this uh, last one but maybe it can be the same but not exact one okay this is good for me and we want the shells so we uh, we need uh, we need offset in this uh, profile too. Click on offset and offset this here. Okay, here and then use trim to trim this and close your profile. But there is a tip here that sometimes it doesn't create your sweep. For example, let's create let's click on finish and finish. And we, you, uh, you should see another, uh, you should see this error on your computer and you say, oh, we finished, but no. Uh, I have a little tip here. You just need to select profile, edit profile, and make this line a little bit, uh, move it to right to create this sweep. I don't know the reason of this in Revit, but we should obey Revit these days. Okay, let's create. Uh, let's click on finish and finish. Okay, 
Okay, you, uh, you should say with yourself that it is, these two are, uh, are same. It is same now, but we have a feature in sweep. You just should uh, select your sweep and in properties, we have a parameter trajectory segmentation. You should check it. And after that, you have another parameter, maximum segment angle. Okay, maybe uh, you would try to change it. The first act is that it will change your shape to a four side shape or four part shape. But maybe if you would do, if you would put this on maybe 100, 150, it won't change at all. But there is a tip, there is another tip here that you should uh, move it between 0 and 90. For example, if I would put this on maybe uh, 70, 70, it will change immediately. Or if, you, if I would put, uh, if I would put uh, this on maybe uh, 45, it will change. Or maybe... 15 it will change and also you can uh, put it on maybe 5 it kind of uh, segmenting in Revit interesting not uh, we have these uh, tools in 3D Max but it is beam so we should use 